All right guys, David here with Oregon Custom Calls and I'm gonna discuss with you today on how to condition my calls once you get one. So we're gonna get right into it. Here we go. I've got one of my slate calls here. All you're gonna do, green scotch bright. Do not use sandpaper on my slate calls or I will not warranty it. You're just gonna, all you're gonna do, back and forth a little bit, and that's good. You're also gonna do it on the striker. Most of the time, it's gonna be the striker that needs it more than the call. Let's give it a little bit. She's ready to rock. That's for a slate call. I'll move to the glass. You can see where I've hit it right there. Do not do circles. And you use a conditioning stone. You want to go back and forth, pushing hard enough that you're grinding into that glass and making it have a good surface to it. And also, green scotch bright on the striker all the time. Do not use anything else but green scotch bright on the striker. That's for the glass there. Now we're going to move on to an aluminum surface. This is the only call that I will use sandpaper on, but I am only using 600 grit or higher. Six, eight, a thousand, something like that. Um, Anything less than that, I'm not liking using. It uh, ruins the sound of the call, in my opinion. I'm going to take a 600 grit sandpaper, give it a little bit. You don't need much. Don't use sandpaper on the striker. Use a screen scotch bright. Also, another tip to keep your calls working great all season long is to keep them warm. A slate call, a glass call, aluminum, any pot call, being warm is a key. Keep it in your pocket if you're going to be talking to a bird off the roost and it's cold in the morning. Once they're cold, they're pretty much useless. So keep them warm, keep them conditioned, you're dialed. Good luck in 2021 everybody.